What is up guys, Aston Axe here, and today we are going to review Wasteland 2. So Wasteland 2 is a direct sequel to 1988's Wasteland, which was the inspiration behind the Fallout series. Until Wasteland, no other CRPG had ever allowed players to control and command individual party members for tactical purposes or given them the chance to make moral choices that would directly affect the world around them. Wasteland was a pioneer in multipath problem solving, dripping in choice and consequences and eschewing the typical one key per lock puzzle solving methods of its peers, in favor of putting the power into players' hands to advance based on their own particular playstyle. Wasteland 2 started on Kickstarter by Inxile Entertainment, a game dev company formed in 2002 by Brian Fargo. He also started Interplay Entertainment in 1983, which became a top 5 PC game publisher in the mid-90s, having produced some of the biggest franchises of all time, including Wasteland and Fallout. Inxile Entertainment just raised under $3 million via Kickstarter for Wasteland 2. Wasteland starts in the year 2087 following the devastation of global nuclear war of 1998, a far remnant force of the United States Army calling themselves the Desert Rangers is based in the southwestern United States. A team of Desert Rangers is assigned to investigate a series of disturbances in the nearby areas and throughout the game explore the remaining enclaves of human civilization, including a post-apocalyptic Las Vegas. Over the course of the game, the player's party discovers evidence of a larger menace that threatens to exterminate what is left of the humankind in the game's region, and eventually the world. It is a pre-war AI computer that is operating from a surviving military facility based Koshis, where it is constructing armies of killer machines and cybernetically modified humans with which it is attacking settlements. Its goal is to replace the current flawed population with genetically pure specimens. With the help from a pre-war android named Max, the player recovers the necessary technology and weapons in order to confront the computer at its base and stop it by making the base's nuclear reactor meltdown. Wasteland 2 goes by the same scenaristic choices and happens in the same environment. Wasteland 2 is an RPG in isometric view from above in 3D. At the beginning of the game, you make a squad of 4 desert rangers. You can choose from a set of existing rangers, or choose to make your own desert ranger, with a custom set of skills and so on. The game fetches turn-based combat where each desert ranger has an amount of action points to use each turn. The game fetches over 150 weapons, dozens of skills, and all of that with an RPG style character evolution. It also promotes exploration of the areas, as it will allow the player to gather more weapons and bullets. It also fetches decision-making with consequences, with both short and long-term reactivity to the player's choices. Every decision matters in the outcome of the story, because every NPC in the game is killable, but will bear consequences. There is also a discover what happened here aspect to the game, based on the examination of clues and information, instead of being read or shown, appear as a scrolling text at the bottom of the screen, giving the game a refreshing old school aspect. Wasteland 2 is in isometric view and in 3D. The amount of detail is not spectacular, but is enough to convey the post-apocalyptic landscape with an impression of permanent dust. The dark atmosphere reminds me particularly of, of Fallout, which was inspired by Wasteland. The whole game is tainted by that old-school 90s CRPG style, which makes it refreshing and maybe nostalgic for those that lived in these years. Aside from the regular visual effects, what plunged me really into the game was the soundtrack. All the noises in the game contribute to making it a really immersive experience for the player. I feel like the audio expresses more the post-apocalyptic atmosphere than the graphics actually do. Also, most of the characters in the game are voice acted, 
However, I have run into some glitches where the voice acting just stops in the middle of a sentence. But since it is only in beta version, I hope that it will be corrected for the final release. So what I liked about Wasteland 2 is that it made me remember of Fallout. If you haven't played any Fallout before, you really should check it out. It's an amazing game. Um, also, the game was backed by over 70,000 Kickstarter backers. So there is already an existing community around Wasteland 2. Uh, what I liked as well was the tactical decisions are required to be made during combat and there definitely is a learning curve so it makes it very gratifying when you really get a hang of the game. Uh, what I didn't like was that sometimes voice acting stops randomly but again it's in beta version so that might change. There is no multiplayer mode. but that is probably due to their limited budget and even without the multiplayer mode we still have about um like 20 hours of gameplay in single player and even more if you go around and explore every single area uh what i didn't like as well was that it can take a while to get used to the mechanics of the game i personally almost never played those kinds of game so it really did take some time for me to get used to it and really understand and master the game Overall, Wasteland 2 is an amazing game that will probably appeal more to some kind of gamers, but its definite genre brings a refreshing gameplay when most games of today rely on overly used game mechanics. However, if gamers make the effort of getting to know the game, there is a big chance they will quickly get addicted to the game's refreshing gameplay. In the end, I give this game 8 out of 10. Thanks for watching this video guys, so if you liked it, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, comment and share it with your friends. And if you want to see more awesome stuff like this, don't forget to go and check out my channel and subscribe. Till next time, have a nice day.